I'm going to use the same size screws that I used here on the uh, ends to tie it to the two side plates, which is a five millimeter bit. And actually, I think it's a 1032 screw. See if I can find the right transfer punch that'll work. Thirteen sixty four is too big. 3 sixteenths is just a hair sloppy, but I think it'll be close enough. Now we'll mount the bar back on so we can line the ends back up and mark the side plates. Now what we'll do is drill, drill that one hole in here and tap it, then slide it back onto the bar, put one screw in it, then we can mark the other hole on this side and the two holes on the other side, and then move it out of the way and drill and tap those three holes. Well, I hope I can just drill it straight enough. Let's see if the screw is up in there. Oh yeah, it's going to go fine. this first screw in here. That should line up pretty decent. What do you know? Hit it right the first time. Well, the other three should be in line just where they sit, so all I need to do is mark them.
I think that's deep enough. I think this time I'm going to try using the drill to tap the holes. Just hope I don't break the tap off. Bottom of the hole on that one. Let me switch to the bottom tap. Finish putting these screws in to make sure they everything lines up good. No problems with the threaded holes. Things will be okay. I've already put the screws in the other side, didn't have any problems. So I think what I'll do now is take the screws out. We've already got a mark on each end on the uh, flat bar and take it to the bandsaw, cut it off to length on each end, just a hair long, and hit the ends on the belt sander, smooth them up, and then put it back on. The reason I left it long. Uh, originally was in case I screwed the holes up, I still have some material where I could scoot it over and uh, redo it twice, one from one end and one the other end if we really needed to. So, But everything worked out and uh, so now we'll just uh, cut her to length. Well, I got the tie bar mounted back on, all the screws tightened up, so we're ready to mount the stepper motors once we get the electric box, uh, all the electronics built. That'll be the next video, is building the electronic panel, and then we'll test the stepper motors before we put them on the machine here. Once they're tested out, then we'll mount them. Most of them mount with these these blocks here on the uh, for the x-axis and the y-axis. So, like I said, next video will be the uh, electronics build.